What's up guys, it's Crash, and Infinity Ward tweeted a teaser for Season 2, finally, right? This game really needs some content, as you guys know if you've played it. And one of the things that I'm personally a little bit excited about is the Resurgence mode returning with a new map. And we've seen some leaks and stuff like that before, but there was actually something in this teaser that I thought was pretty cool. It appears that it is going to be around a castle-based map, potentially that map from World at War could be returning to multiplayer, and the Operator Ronin has also been leaked. But as a part of that, the TAC map has also been leaked before, and I'm gonna show you guys something that pretty much proves that that leak that we talked about maybe a month or so ago is definitely true, it's the real thing. So let me play the teaser for you, and then pay attention to that end frame, and then I'm gonna show you something really cool. So when I saw that last frame with the map outline and saying TAC map revealed tomorrow with resurgence returns as the hashtag, I saw that outline, I was like, that looks really, really familiar. So I went ahead and overlaid it with the uh, the map that elite that was an alleged leak like a month or so ago. And sure enough, if you guys lower the opacity with it lined up, you can see that red outline matches almost perfectly uh, with the leaked, leaked map. There's the red outline, focus on that. Fade out to the map and 100% true. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting, um, a little bit of a breakdown on here, if these top topographic lines are accurate, it kind of gives you an idea as to the shape of the map. So that's pretty cool. Um, the closer the lines are together, like the steeper it is, and presumably towards the middle, it will get higher. So these are elevation changes quicker. Um, so you guys can see that the uh, above the residential area, this could be a high spot. Uh, likely, more than likely, right? How these are designed, the castle is gonna be a really high spot. And then um, again, over here, industrial ruins, and um, then the uh, greenhouses and apartments. It looks like it's lower at the beach and goes up towards the castle, but you guys can see if those if those topographic lines are like they are in an actual map, you can see there is quite a bit of elevation change, so that's pretty cool. Overall, the map kind of reminds me of Fortune's Keep just a little bit. Um, if we zoom in, you guys can maybe see those just a little bit better, those topographic lines, but you can see the high spots on the castle. I don't know why I'm pointing at my screen. You guys can't see it because I'm a boomer, so that's what you get. Um, but I, I think the castle definitely be a hot drop the apartments almost look like the control center drop so i can see that getting pretty hot residential might be a little bit more low-key the greenhouses will be interesting if the glass and all those buildings is breakable and then you have uh i'm interested in to see how much of this water can be playable and if any of these so you see um the water down here at the town center at the port if that's connected by some sort of tunnel if it's like fortune's keep there was a massive amount of underground tunnel systems for flanks and things like that so i wouldn't surprise me um if we saw that here but yeah guys i just saw that i thought it was cool i wanted to talk about the map a little bit it is allegedly going to support dmz as well and a ground war type mode so i thought that was pretty cool anyway guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later